audience. It's Miss Street, the Street Rosa. Hope you guys are having a great rainy Wednesday. Miss Street's playing her rainy music because that's just where I am right now. I give up. I'm like, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Reminds me of the Lorax when they're like trying to let the trees grow. You know, let it grow, let it grow. Okay. Anyway, oh dear. I'm sorry. I guess it was mad at me for making fun of the rain. Oh, and that makes me want to sing. I'm no stranger to the rain. It's a great country song. All right. Supertizing, multiplication, factors, product. Here we go. Four groups of four. Your product is 16. Good. Here we go. Let's try it. Move it because you guys you guys figure out my patterns. Nine groups of four. Mm -hmm. That's like saying four plus 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 four. Say that five times fast. Product is 36. Do you need help? Do you get it? Okay. Okay. Girl, she, she sent it to you. Here we go. Three groups of five. It's not the same thing as five groups of three. Five plus five plus five. Fifteen. We'll do one more. Seven groups of five. So my factors are seven and five. Thirty-five. Awesome job. Way to go. So we are working on again three NF three. Um, I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm in a house full of middle school boys. That being my children, their cousin Mason, and we're having a lot of fun. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, so we are representing equivalent fractions with area and length models. And remember, equivalent means they have the same area. I know, and I just said area down here, but it means they take up the same amount of space. I'm going to show you what that means. So I know if I have one third. If I put one-sixth on top of it, does that cover the whole area of the third? Uh, negative. But if I add another sixth, it has to be the same unit. Mm -hmm. Mystery is really struggling here. There. Two-sixths covers the same area as one-third. Perfect. So um, that is equivalence. Using area and length models, or area models, or what I just showed you. Length models is our handy dandy number line, because that's fun. And we're going to work on composing, decomposing, and related fractions. And Miss Street made myself big signs, so I would remember to use the word compose and decompose, because I have not been doing that. I know, right? Get with the program. I'm trying. <sighs> but it's hard. Here we go. Whole numbers up to four as fractions. So we have to be able to see fractions that are greater than one. So we can say, um, we can look at this and say, this is partitioned in fourths. This number line can be partitioned in halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and eighths. And you can do this, um, but just for these purposes, um, we can see that five fourths is greater than one. And when I look at this, I see that as one and one fourth, right? So you got to be able to see that. Also, third graders, you have to know, I know I keep repeating this, but it's really important. If you have the same numerator and denominator, um, they have the same value as one whole, whatever. If it's a pool, if it's a candy bar, if it's a trash can, I don't even know where that came from. I guess because I just looked at my trash can. <laughs> I don't know. If it's a bag of chips, if uh, you eat one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths of the bag of chips, you've ate the whole bag, the one whole bag of chips. It's a true story. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. I've got my new problem. 
You ready? I'm going to hold it up for you, and then we're going to see how this works. Because I don't know. Each member of the boys' swim team, this problem reminds me of um, Marley Franklin, because I know she swims. And all the members of the, of the kids who swim uh, for the McDowell Mariners, I don't know if you've ever done that before. Um, Zeb's done it one time, and he liked it. I liked it. It was fun. Here we go. Each member of the boys' swim team swam for one minute. This chart shows the distance each boy swam. So we can see Chris swam two eighths. Brooks, oh, I know Brooks. Brooks Arrowwood, it's my little baby cousin, second cousin. Drew, I know Drew Crawford. Drew swam seven eighths. Zach swam half. Sean, some people might want to call that scene, but it's Sean, swam three sixths. Michael swam one fourths. And Juan Pablo, we're not sure what happened to him. So we've got lots of questions. We'll see which ones we can get done today. But the first one is, which boy swam the same amount? Prove your answer using at least two different representations. This is just like what we just did in second grade. You gotta show your different strategies. You can use a number line, fraction models, drawings, words, or numbers. Woo, all right. Here we go. Get ready. All right. See my big words here? Compose and decompose. I'm really proud of myself. Um, so Miss Street's going to move this little lollygaggy out of the way. True story. And I'm going to, um, I decided to use um, my bar models for this and not my circle models. I could, but I'm just finding it's easier for me to do it with the um, bar models. So, my fraction bars are the same thing as bar models and mm -hmm, area models. So, here we go. So, if we said this is one whole minute, this is our unit. Okay, this is the minute. And then we're going to put on top, of, on top of this one whole how um, much of the mile the boys swam. Am I saying that right? This could be the mile. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> the green mile. Here we go. I got it, Miss Street. This is the mile. Um, and this is, and then we're going to see what fraction um, the boys swam of the mile. Can you see my little pieces? I hope so. So, which boy swam the same amount? Okay, so here's where we have to, like, use our... Um, uh, our bar or our, our fraction bars to help us figure this out. We're going to compose and decompose our fractions, and Mystery's going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I see here Chris swam what two eighths. So Chris swam two eighths. You see that? Yeah. Brooks swam three fourths. And I have to line them up. This is something we did in kindergarten. Um, it's a measurement data standard, but when you're comparing fractions like this, you have to be sure to line them up because we're measuring the area of the fraction. Are those equal? No. All right, Drew had seven eighths. I don't think I have seven more eighths. Hmm. What can I do if I don't have that? You want it? Okay. I hear you. Let's draw it. Whoever said that, Miss Street is very appreciative. Because I don't think I have seven eighths, and I don't want to waste time trying to find eighths. All right. So, let's do it this way. And, and we're actually working on um, what our problem asks us to do. Miss Street's going to draw a number line. Here we go. So, this is going to be Chris. And what do I know about my fractions of one whole? I know if I compose mm -hmm, two halves, I get one whole. If I decompose a half, oh, Miss Street's doing good. If I decompose a half, I get a fourth. If I compose two fourths, has the same area as 
half. But if I decompose a fourth in half, I get one eighth. So that's why those are called related fractions. I wonder if you know what would happen if I decompose one eighth. That's not in your standards and you don't have to know it, but I'm just, hmm, wonder what that would be. Comment if you know, okay? Um, and then we also looked at three thirds. If we compose three thirds, compose, that's the same as one whole. Um, if we decompose a third in half, remember that's, that's what we're doing with all these to get our related fractions. If I decompose this third in half, I get one sixth. But if I compose two sixths, I know I have the same amount as one third. Kiss your brain. All right, so we're gonna use that knowledge with our number line. So the first one, Chris swam two eighths of a mile. So by my related fractions, I know how to make this number, this number line. I'm gonna do, I start with half. I am gonna do zero here. We'll tick below that because I like to always show that um, there's numbers less than zero. So this is the one whole mile. So if I do half, that's one half. If I partition into fourths or decompose my equal areas, I'm gonna decompose them. That means I'm gonna make them smaller. Okay, decompose a half and half. What do I get here? This is one fourth. This is two fourths. This is three fourths. And this one is four fourths. Back to this, the one whole. Okay? So let me try to get you a little bit closer. I know I'm all over the place, but listen, if you don't know me by now, you ain't never gonna know me street. True story. You will never, never, never know me. Okay, I think that's a little bit better, so we're going to go with it. So then I'm going to partition, excuse me, I'm going to decompose, decompose each fourth in half. And that's going to give me my eighths. So that's one eighth. That's two eighths. Decompose here. Three eighths. Four eighths, decompose, five eighths, this would be six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. So let's look where Chris landed. Let's let Chris be mm, purple, blue, purple. Just kidding. So Chris swam two eighths. So here's one eighth, two eighths. So I'm gonna put a C for Chris. See it? I know that you can see my colors, but. All right, let's look at the next one. Brooks swam three fourths. Okay, three fourths. So I can show Brooks, I'm gonna do Brooks with blue. Um, I do have three fourths on this number line. Do you see it? Because I partitioned in half and then in fourths, Right there is old Brooksy. I'm gonna give him a B. Blue B for Brooks. Drew swam seven eighths. I'm gonna do him orange. And I can see on my number line where the seven eighths are. So that's, I'm gonna do an orange D for Drew. Zach swam half. Hmm, I'm gonna make Zach be, oh, I'm gonna make him pink. So half, where's half? Right there, Z for Zach. Um, Sean swam three sixths. Whoa. All right, that confuses me a little bit because my number line is only in halves, fourths, and eighths as related fractions. So I'm gonna skip that one and come right back to it. And then we have a Michael swam one fourth. So let me make Michael, have I done a green? So Michael swam one-fourth. Oh, that's the same as Chris. Yeah. So I'm going to put a, I wish I wouldn't have wrote that there. It's okay, Mr. Reed. You're going to have to let it go. I'm going to put an M beside 
Chris. So Chris and Michael, we see, have swam the same amount. But let's go back to, and Juan Pablo, we're just not sure. Well, but I think one of our questions down here is going to help us figure it out. Go back to Sean, 3, 6. Now, my number line is not in six. Is it? Mm -mm. Um, let's look back to, I've got my other um, number line here. Whoa, my street just dropped all those markers. Everything is fine. Okay, um, so I'm going to take you closer so you can see it. What did you notice about our two number lines that we did last week and yesterday? This is the one partitioned in halves, fourths, and eighths. And this is the one partitioned into um, thirds and then sixths. So what do we notice? Right here. Half, two-fourths, four-eighths, three what? Three six, that's right. So Miss Street can also look at this with my, sorry, with my um, fraction bars. I can say one sixth, two sixth, three sixth. Look at that. Do you see? And what if I did this? What if I said I put a half on here? I'll do it below so you can see me measuring. And again, this is reminding Miss Street of our kindergarten standards. It just all goes together of how uh, when we measure in first grade too, we have to line them up to get the correct measurement. So I can see that 3 6 has the same value as half. When I did that, I'm decomposing my one whole and I'm decomposing a half, but I'm composing the 3 6 to get to the half, okay? So I know Sean, hmm, let's make Sean gray. Have I done gray? Sean, I'm gonna put three six right here because we just proved it with our bars. And I'm gonna put an S right here for Sean. Miss Street's gonna have to redo this because I don't like it. <laughs> so our question was, which boy swam the same amount? Prove your answer using at least two different representations. A number line, a fraction model, a drawing, words, or numbers. So, Miss Street has only shown one way. <laughs> yeah, that's the rigor of this third graders and parents and teachers. Um, so, I can see that Chris and I believe it's Michael both swam the same amount. Sean and Zach swam the same amount. And we figured out that um, Sean swam three six, but we could see with our fraction bars and our number line that we worked on last week, that half, two-fourths, four-eighths, and three-sixths have the same value as half. So tomorrow we will work on showing this a different way because that was only one way. So um, again, that just shows you the rigor of this standard. Miss Street loves you guys. Have a great rainy day. I told second graders, Go outside and just play in the rain. You know the song, singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. I think I'm off. What a glorious feeling when we're singing in the rain. Just go have fun out in the rain because that's where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So, Mystery, we'll see you tomorrow. Hope you had a great day. Have a great day. It's not even, it's not, it's not even halfway over. See you soon.